So it's a lot here for that, you know, the wind came through and pushed down everything. So as the brother was reading, where, where, where did we stop? Uh, that's three, I think, Jeremiah 5, 3. <clears throat> Let's go back to Chiriki again, right? Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 3. O Yahweh, are not thy eyes upon the troops? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them. Ah, sorry, can't. The Most High has stricken them, but they have not grieved. Yeah. The Most High has consumed them, but they have not taken correction. Okay. But they have refused to receive correction. And what? They have made their faces? They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have made their faces harder than a rock. And this is exactly what, you know, when niggas start catching some hell, they become more demons, man. They become more hardened, you know. Instead of them seeking the most eye and seeking the reason why, you know, the most eye is making them go through all these things, they become demons extra more, you know. They say, okay, because, because I went through this, then this thing has made me hard. I need to show other people this way, you know? This is what this is what it's speaking about. Our people don't take corrections because the most I correct them for certain things. But what, what do they do? They become harder than they were before, you know? They become harder than they were before. That's the situation of the sons of Israel, man. Yep. Very subtle children, eh? Yep. <laughs> they have refused to return. Verse 4. Therefore I said, surely these are poor, they are foolish, for they know not the way of the Lord, nor the judgment of their God. Yeah. So you see, the sons of Israel are foolish men. They don't know the way of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. They don't know his judgment. And what did we read? The judgment of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is found in this book, in his laws and his statutes. But now, if we go to our own people, so-called Nigerians, you know, they believe the judgment of the so-called white man. And they believe their own brothers are the devils, you know. This is how the devil has turned things around. This is how foolish and subtle these people are, you know. They prefer to choose the ways of their oppressors than rather to listen to the way that leads them to eternal life, you know. And don't be deceived, man. The democracy that they push to you and all these things is the wicked and demonic. In fact, the word democracy, crazy means to rule, you know. And demon goes back to demon, the demon rule, you know. All they're trying to push to you is their Babylonian ways. Now they've pushed it to an extent in which our people have also started misbehaving like them, you know. Men are chopping off their rods, you know. Men are dressing like women, you know. Women are dressing like men, are becoming men, and all that kind of abominable acts, you know, they've embraced all that, and they have refused the ways of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Now, what are they? They are part of the congregation of the zombies, man, it's a congregation of the dead, you know? If you have any points there, look if there are some other points. Yeah, uh, uh, verse 5 says, Jeremiah 5 5 it says, I will get me unto the great men and will speak unto them, for they have known the way of the Lord and the judgment of their power. But these have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bonds. You know, just like what we read in, 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 in uh, uh, Romans 11 7, you know. So. Most are only only working. He's only seeking for the elect now because these are the only the only people that will understand the truth. What Musa is actually saying, you know, when this truth gets to our people, they mock at it, they they misuse it, you know. Like the brother was saying, the worst thing you can give to our people in, in Nigeria is this truth, you know. You become their enemy overnight. I have a friend who when when I when I was coming to this truth newly. Then I was sitting on Facebook. I was telling him about this thing. The, the next thing I said, uh, you know, he blocked me. He don't want to listen. Yeah. You know, and the conversation then was, you know, he was telling me that I should remember him because that then, then I newly 
came to you know Italy. So he was now the conversation then was that you know I should remember him because he was going through hell too. You know? So I, I now use the opportunity to let him know, look, we are the people of the book. You know, I started going into it, telling him what I know then. But after the conversation, you know, we have another conversation after that. The next thing he blocked me, he don't want to hear it. You know? Remember the, 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 <laughs> the guy was my very good friend, you know, in Nigeria. He blocked me. That's how it is, man. They're quick to do evil, man. Yeah. They're slow to the truth, man. Yeah. And the conversation was I should remember him. You know, he needed help then. Battery going you down. Know? Going down. He needed help. So the worst thing you can give to our people is this truth. This truth consume them. You know? So you have any other Zephaniah, second chapter. Zephaniah. Zephaniah. That's what. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Gather yourself, spirit of nation, no desire. Can read from the top. The phrase that I need is the third verse. This is Zephaniah chapter two, verse one. He said, "Gather yourself together, ye, ye, gather together." No, jump to the third verse. Okay. Then from the third verse, you come back to the top. The third verse says, Seek you the Lord, all you meek of the earth. Who are the meek? The sons of Israel, man. Yes. Seek the most high Yahweh Hashem You know, but our people refuse. Wherefore, judgment is coming. That judgment will be really fury, man. <laughs> people don't really know what's going on. They underestimate the starvation that's coming. They underestimate... You know the 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 war that's going on in Ukraine, in which it's all been, you know, it's all been designed by the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. They understand. They underestimate all these things, you know, so their hearts are given unto folly. Read. Seek you the Lord, all you meek of the earth, which have brought His judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be, you shall. Be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. So you see, we need to seek the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, seek His judgment. Yep. All this so that we may be hid in the day of His judgment. <laughs> but people are taking for granted the day of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai's judgment, man. Yep. That day is gloom, darkness. What's that scripture? Is it Amos? Uh, if you want me to get it, one. Amos. Yeah, you can get it. Uh, same Zephaniah. Zephaniah yeah, yeah, you can. Okay, read it. Okay, this is Zephaniah 1 14 say, The great day of the Lord is near, it is near, and hates it greatly. The great day of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh is near. Anyone that is telling you, Oh, pray for peace, pray for this, or whatever, pray for peace, you know, that person is a false prophet yep. because they're not telling you about what's in the scriptures, you know, that person whosoever tells you, Pray for peace. Pray for long life, pray for this, pray for that. That's a false prophet because the Bible says differently. The great day of the Most High is near, you know? Yep. And that's the prophet um, Zephaniah. He has been saying it for, I think, you know, that was about, you know, 500 years or 400 before the return of Yahweh. Shia might be wrong, you know? But now think of it now in these days. It is more nearer. <laughs> Way more nearer than you can imagine. So read. Yeah. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasting greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. The mighty men, who are the mighty men? You know, the powers that be. You know, Esau's military. Esau's mighty men. Because Nigerians, so-called Nigerians, they always say America can never be put down. They believe America is the strongest nation in the world. And they believe America cannot be put down. But hey, in just one hour, the most high of Hashim Yahusha is taking this place down. You know? So the great, the great men, the mighty men, there is also another scripture that say, they are made, their mighty men shall be as women, man. They'll be afraid to death. You know? Or though the most I will put the spirit on them to fight against the angels when they turn, when they return. 
So you see, all these people, they think all these things that we're talking about is child's play. You know, the other day we were speaking about something when we had the brother Kalam with us. And we said, what about like Leviathan? You know, have you all forgotten that? <laughs> that the Most High has a monster in the, under the ocean. <laughs> and before you know it, the Most High is going to release that monster. You know, people don't really know what's going on. On that day, you're going to see things that just saying it, man, your spirit will leave you. <laughs> people will give up the ghost you give up the ghost immediately, man. You know, people don't know because they don't know. They think, you know, they carried away with the false doctrine that's been taught in the churches that Jesus is all love. You know, he will come, you know, he will, he will hug you, he will say, my servant, I understand that it was hard for you, but I forgive you, man. Hell no. <laughs> you know, he already came to die for your sins. Now he's coming to kill you sinners, man. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Verse 15. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation. So you see, it's a day of wasteness and desolation. Yeah. You know, this makes me think of um, the book of um, Joel, the second chapter, you know. The most eye is going to waste and destroy people, man. Yeah. You see all this beautiful garden that you see, all these beautiful places, the beautiful park right here, the buildings and all that thing. Wait for that day that the most eye is going to intervene. Yeah. You know, everything is going to be like a wilderness. Are you seeing what's going on in, in Ukraine? Beautiful cities, you know, ancient and beautiful places. Now look at what they look like. You know, they look like crumbs, wilderness. That's what the power of those bombs and nuclear bombs are. Mind you, they're not even using nuclear bombs yet. Yeah. You know? And what's that scripture, um, Isaiah, is it 47, whatever I say, oh, 50 something? It says, um, I have created the smith. The Most High Yahweh Shemi Yahushua has created the smith, which are the scientists. He has put his spirit in them to create these bombs of destruction. You know? So you, you just keep playing around, man. People don't know what's going on. Keep playing around. Fighting, they're all fighting to, to, to attend a uh, Rick Ross show, to attend this one, Bonner Boy, whatever, and all that BS, you know? But they don't know what's going on. Man, many people are going to be caught up on our ways, man. People don't know what's going on. We don't. The day of darkness and gloomless. The day of clouds and thick darkness. What are going to cause those clouds? You know, the mushroom, the mushroom clouds, you know? Those are effects of atomic bombs, interballistic missiles. Yeah, because all these things are not made for fancy. No, no, they, yeah. let them keep thinking that they were, made, they were made just to show you what it looks like. Yeah. Those things are going to be used. The most I will pour the spirit on these people and they're going to use those weapons, man. Yeah, and that, no, is, you, that is very, very near. Stan. Very, very near. That is why we are here to warn to you. To warn you. That day is near. It's near. It's right here. You know? It's and before you even get to that day, that's if you make it to that day. You know? Before you get to that day that these weapons are going to be used, there are going to be a series of sufferness, man. Yep. That is if you make it because many people are going to starve to death. People are going to eat their babies, man. For hunger. For lack of food. And y'all don't even know what's going on. People don't understand what's going on, man. Yep. Verse 16. A day of the trumpet and alarm against the forces, against the fenced cities, and against the high towers. In those days, you're going to hear alarms of wars, just like you hear in, 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 in Israel whenever they, they, they launch some missiles. You see sirens go on in the cities, just like the first few days of the war in, um, in Ukraine. You had sirens everywhere, you know? The alarms are going to ring. You know, all these cities that you're seeing that they are protected, they are all going to be turned to wilderness. That's why we're calling you, repent, you know, and seek the kingdom of heaven. You know, that's why we're doing all these things. So the Most High can have mercy on our souls in those days, you know. There's no playing around in this truth. No. The Most High is not mocked. Whatever you reap, that's what you sow. And when the Most High is going to be killing many of you, you, you niggas, you, at that moment is killing you, you'll be remembering all the foolishness that you did. You'll be remembering all the opportunities you had to listen to this truth. You'll be remembered everything. Verse 17. 
and I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men. <laughs> you know what that means? That means absolute confusion, man. Yep. Men are going to be confused. They will not know where to run to. They will not know what to do. Yep. You know? Absolute confusion. Yeah, just like they are walking now also. A lot of people are walking blindly. They are hearing this truth, but uh, they don't take heed. But wait, when destruction comes, you will see mad people, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, stop playing with the most I have, Hashem Yahushai, man. You better stop playing, man. You know, this is not a joke. Is it your own? No, I thought it's yours. Verse 17 again, he says, And I will bring distress upon men that they, they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against the Lord, and their blood shall be poured out as dust and hey. their flesh as dung as the dung so you see people are going to die and there will be no one to bury them man yeah. that's regarding to the second book of Ezra in the 16th chapter you know there will be dead bodies laid all over the place you know that's how terrible the most I have is yep. verse 18 he says hey seek the Lord while he's still found Stop calling on those fake and false names. Stop believing in your wicked pastors in the church. You know, all they teach you is lies, man. And I'm not saying this to tell you that, you know, Great Millstone needs members. No, we don't need no members, you know. As a matter of fact, if you come into Great Millstone as today, they wouldn't, they wouldn't accept you into the, into, the, into the camp, you know. You might, you might have to wait before you get into the camp, you know. All great millstone we care for is just to teach you the truth, you know. So we're not doing this because we need members like IUIC, you know. Our apostles they don't really need you. They don't need your money, man. They never asked you for money, you know. All we care about is to inform you people to get rid of your blood from our hands. So on that day we would be we we'll, would we'll be like oh with our heads up yeah we want these people, you know. Yep. That's eighteen. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them. Your silver, your gold will not be able to deliver you in those days that are to come. You're going to throw them out of the window, man. And that's why we're telling you, you know, <laughs> lay your treasures where, you know, corruption is not going to come and get it, man. You know, lay your treasures in, in the kingdom to come. Not in this filthy place, man, you know. And now the, the money that's coming that we're telling you that the form of money is the digital currency and it's going to be inserted under your skin go read the book of revelation 13 16 to get more understanding it's a chip and it's june <laughs> verse 18 neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the lord's wrath but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy readings of all them that dwell in the land. Hey, man. <laughs> terrible days ahead, man. Very, very terrible days ahead. You know? If you're not seeking the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai now, man, I don't really know what to tell you. As a matter of fact, all your dreams all your aspirations of becoming big in this society of getting as much money as you need you know we've been told that those things are not going to be useful anymore you know so you only only a wise man is going to seek the most high yahweh shem yahushai now and forsake the world you know even the scriptures tells you that seek ye first the kingdom of heaven first you know and the rest will be added unto you but the people are not following that formula they need formula that pleases that, that that pleases the flesh you know that pleases their their their, their worldly their worldly wants that is all they gratify the flesh so well i think you know the lesson is good to go hopefully you know we we brought out some points you know through the spirit and power of the most high yahweh shemi shai hopefully you know we weren't just babbling you know, this is how the Spirit has led us this day to bring out this truth, you know. So the point there is, 
Hey, come out from your wickedness. Repent before it's too late, man. Repent. Seek the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. Come out of your wicked churches. Come out of your religion. Because this thing has nothing to do with religion. This is a way of life, man. This is a heritage. And it was given to the sons of Israel. How do you know you're a son of Israel? If this truth resounds well with your mind. If you believe what we're teaching. Then most definitely you're Israelites, you know. And let no man deceive you. Salvation is only for Israel. Okay? Salvation is only for Israel. Let no man deceive you. Because now that's the new thing that's trending. They're trying to include all the rest of the nations as if they had the covenant with the Most High. Now, we're going to close here. Hopefully, this lesson was edifying to the spirit and power of the Most High, Yahweh Shemiah Shai. Would like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kapodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS, the ones who taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful let spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel. Hey, hold on strong, salvation is close. You know, don't give up. Don't let that seed be taken away from you. Because lately there are agents. This devil is this devil is moving in ways just to get rid of that spirit from you. But don't give up. Salvation is close. About the bad unto the next one, Shalom. Shalom.